Thank you for being here today at the 2018 Cape and Island Suicide Awareness Walk. We are here to remember and honor the lives of the people who have died by suicide, whether long in the past or recently. We are here to encourage and love and nurture those who have attempted suicide and are finding their way. And we are here to smash the stigma of suicide because for too far too long, uh, people don't feel safe and able to talk about it. There's kind of this common linkage, I think, between people that are affected by it. And I think having a community can make a world of difference for people that are struggling, especially, and people that are survivors of um, losing someone. And the more people are aware of not only suicide, but just what leads up to suicide, the, it, the more it helps us all. It helps us cope, it helps us help others. So really, that for me is what it's all about. We're here for each other, we're all attached at the hip. Being here is just able to be part of a community and be able to support others who may be gone through um, you know, an event where they had somebody close to them who had passed away, uh, completed suicide. So, I don't know, being together with people, I think it's important to support people, support a cause like this. A lot of people deal with it without, uh, you know, without really letting anybody know, you know. You know, affects families and affects, you know, more people than you might think. So uh, bringing uh, awareness to the forefront kind of, you know, helps everyone. I walk for my son, Thomas Pike. I walk for my daughter, Nora. Hi, I walk for my mother, Natalie. I'm walking in honor of my brother, Chris. And I'm walking in memory of my best friend, Pat. So I walk to smash out the stigma of mental health and suicide. End the silence, smash the stigma. Let's talk, Cape and Islands. <laughs>